2,000 years after the departure of Jesus Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. In the land we were carried captive, that's the, that's North America. And that's the Caribbean, that's South America, Central America, Mexico, and the four corners of the earth. But it's primarily America, because that's where the bulk of Israel is. Free. And we fit. And what? And we fit. Repent means to change. Have we as a people changed? Absolutely not. And how long have we been here? Huh? We've been here close to 400 years, right? And our so-called Latino brothers over 500 years, they've been on this side of the world. And yet we refuse to repent. We don't. And make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carry them captive, saying, Come on. we have sinned. We have sinned. That's what we're supposed to acknowledge to the Lord. Come on, come, come, come. We're supposed to acknowledge that we have sinned and we have not done so. That's why we continue and consistently sit at the bottom of society because we have not acknowledged that we have done sin. Perverseness before the Lord. Read on. And have done perversely. We have committed wickedness. We have to acknowledge we have committed wickedness. We have to acknowledge we have committed adultery. We have to acknowledge we've committed homosexuality. We have to acknowledge we have left out, we've deserted our wives, children. You understand? We have deserted God's laws. God says we must, we must come back to him. Read on. And so return unto thee with all their heart. Return unto the Most High with all your heart. What does that mean, all your heart? It means return to him with all your mind. Because I'm going to tell you, the mind of the black man is not on the Lord. Where's the mind of the black man these days? Everything else, name something. His mind is on smartphone, internet. What else is the black man's mind on? Huh? Channeling women, what else is the black man's mind on? I think it's like 75% women. Except mostly women. Mostly women. Exactly. And you know what God has said? We matter of fact, hold this. Hold where you at. Get me uh get me uh first Ezra's form about uh, many of God and which women. Because that's true. Many of us but most of us have have gone crazy for the woman. And we've gone crazy for the wicked woman because it's not a woman that's keeping God's laws. You have it? Yes. Come on. First Ezra chapter 4 and verse 20. This is where the black man's mind has gone, and the Latino man. Come on. Many also have perished, have earned. Many also have died, the Most High says. Many men have died. Many Read on. And sin. And sin. For women. For who? For women. Many brothers have killed, have hurt brothers, robbed brothers for women. That's why, that's why a lot of our brothers in jail right now. Right. Over the woman. Over, over, what's in between her legs? Read on. And now, do you not believe me? Come on. Is not the king great in his power? Do not, well, do not all regions. I want, I want, I want. Verse before that. Right. I want, um, I want, uh, six. Yeah. And then, yeah, then, yeah, yeah. Verse 26. This is the mind of the black man. Read on. Yeah. 
Benny Dale, be that have run up of the wits What does that women. mean? What does that mean? They, many have run out of their wits for women. What does that mean? Brothers have gone crazy over a, over a woman. And this is, yeah. over, it's not over a righteous woman, it's over an hair. evil woman. That's why the Most High said, many have perished. Go back to Kings, go back to Kings. We finish, where you at? And, come on. Also, when it says many have perished, a lot of brothers are catching straight diseases. Yes. Like Usher. You saw what happened to him? Usher's giving women around. Read that part again. Many what? Many also have perished. Many have perished, meaning died or caught a disease. Because there were diseases back then. They weren't, in, they weren't in the names of herpes, but they were called something else. You understand? Boils. Boils. Uh, the Itch. botch. Itching. Itching is when it is in the genital areas. That's what herpes and uh, gonorrhea is all about. Scratching, crabs, scratching and all that. Read it again. Many also have perish, have erred, and sin for women. The word erred means error, meaning they went the wrong way. There's nothing wrong, error, the word error. There's nothing wrong with talking to a beautiful woman. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you start to look at her face, then her body, then her legs, that's where the sin is coming in. Now you don't want to marry this woman. You want to do what? Have sex with this woman. Think, look, look, brothers. Look how these women dress. They have the ass out. Think of what I'm saying? It's not all the brothers' fault. They play, they play a big part in that. If the woman started to dress righteous, you understand? Covered up, our head covered and all of that, we'll look at them differently. They all covered up. Because that's what the my brother, that's what the white man has said. What do you say? The brother said, you have a lot of people that say you cannot tell a woman. Well, how is she supposed to dress, right? And they cater in the laws to the woman. That's, I, you listen, bro. I completely agree. They have, uh, they'll say, it's my body. I can put whatever I want to wear, right? And you know, how, you know why that's a sick mind? Because a lot of the women that say that they got kids, they're producing that same vicious cycle all over again. Now the young girls growing up now, they're gonna be what? Whores. Because their mother was like that. Give me that this, I'm a, give me that scripture in Ezekiel. As the mother, 16, give me that. You understand that? And since you said you you said facts, right? Why do you say facts meaning that's true? Oh my bad. I know, I know, I know. No, you good, you good, you good. We, we take over everything, you understand? Females. That's not we, true. We do. You know why you're taking listen to it. What's your name? My name is O'Shea. Who? O'Shea. O'Shea. Come here. Come on. Come on. I know, I know you're not soft. So listen to what I'm saying. Hold on, brother. Hold on. Listen good, brother. There's a lot there's a lot of women in uh, that have become lesbian. Are you a lesbian? Okay. We're not gonna say the most high is going to kill you. However, because that's what homosexuals think. God is going to kill me. He's going to throw me in hell. We're not saying that. Right. What we're saying is this. That homosexuals, lesbians, adulterers, fornicating men, men that's in a strip club, men that's dealing with all this foolishness, drug dealers, they all have the same judgment as a homosexual. You understand? Because you got brothers that say, I ain't gay, I ain't this, but you selling drugs to your people, the most I'm going to kill you. You understand? So there's the same judgment for everybody. You understand? The problem is with us, a lot of our brothers, I'm going to tell you what's wrong with us. We say, gay, that ain't good. But lesbians is all right. You know what I'm talking about? Why we can, say that? We can, you know why we say that? Because that's lust in this world. You understand? The Bible, the Bible has said, sin will cover the earth. Give me that, bro, drop that. Get Isaiah 60 verse one. Listen good. I want you to listen good too. Isaiah chapter 60 verse one. Read that. Isaiah 60 verse four. Because I'm gonna tell you, verse, 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 the first one. Listen good. The, the reason why you have become a lesbian, you were not born this way. You were not born that way. Society.
society has put it in your head that it's okay. It's the same thing as society put in my head that it's okay to sag my pants. It's society put in my head it's okay to sleep with six different women. Society put that in my head. You're not born this way. We're not born like that. It's society's influence on our mind. That's right. Read. Isaiah 16 verse 2. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. The Bible says the darkness shall cover the earth. What does that mean? What does the word darkness translate to? Sin. Sin. That's what darkness is. Darkness means you cannot see. Meaning you're blind in the dark. It's the same thing. The Bible says darkness shall cover the world. That's Primarily right. what? The United States of America. That's right. We are in Babylon the Great. What is Babylon the Great? The land of confusion. Right. That's what that means. Yeah. America promotes two women. Two women cannot produce. That's right. You can't do that. Think about it, my sister. Look, you put on clothes like a brother. That means in your mind, you think it's okay to dress like that. That's the darkness in your mind. I'm telling you. That's the psychology that's on our place. I'm being real with you. You wasn't born that way. You wasn't. Because I got a, I got two kids. I got two kids. She was a young man. Though. Sometimes she be coming through like fools. Uh, listen, man. I be forgetting she a female sometimes, the way she be coming at. You know what I mean? Like, but, I hate that. So why? It's like, only reason why we, only reason why we gay is because she ain't got many numbers. Some of y'all men what? It's not loyal. The men is not loyal. Not loyal. I, you know what, sis? I agree with that. I agree. Oh, I agree. Yeah, I but that's you not. Know, you heard what you said? But hold on. Six, that's sleep with six different women? More than six different women. Not me, I, not us. No, I'm not saying y'all. Say in general. In general, right. How can you, how can you know it's like disease or not? So you're trying to take it back to another level. See, we're talking huh? about back in the day when, 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 when the man supposed to have seven to eight wives. Oh, we're going to deal with that in a second, too. So that's a lot of different thoughts and mindsets I've noticed. But sis, I'm going to let you know something. Hold, come back. The, 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 bro the, sis, the, the brothers that's not loyal, even though that's sin, the Bible says thou shall not commit adultery, right? A lot of our brothers, we broke that law. We broke it. However, that does not give us the, ex the woman an excuse to become what? A lesbian. Right. Not an excuse. Because you know what? You dealt with a lesbian woman before you had a relationship? Have you cheated on her before? Be honest. How, do you know a lesbian woman that cheated on a girl? So they not loyal either. So it's not a, a loyalty thing. It's not a loyalty thing. It's. It's the. It's the. It's the. I'm gonna tell you what it is. You ready? It's the darkness in your heart. Right, That's right, all right. it is. Right. Read that again. Isaiah 16 verse 2. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. The Bible says darkness shall cover people on the earth. Read on. And gross darkness, the people. And gross darkness, the people. Meaning, the blacks and Hispanics in this country, we in the worst shape, meaning in our mind. You understand? You understand my point? Because growing up, for an example, I know a kid growing up. We the same age. I used to play sports, football, basketball, when I was like eight and nine. That same kid, we were playing it together, basketball. One day, he says, you know what, I don't want to play this no more. I want to go play double dutch and jump rope with the girls. You don't think that plays that part in his, in his psychology? In his mind? So now he turning the rope. He doing all of this. He, uh, so now what's going on? He's switching now. He's popping his gum. Because when I was a kid, I was not allowed to blow bubbles oh, no. with bubble gum around men. I could get smacked up for that. Then I say, I'm only allowed to chew it. That's it. Don't be blowing big bubbles in a man's face. That's, that was back then considered. That's okay. You understand? So I'm saying, the problem is with us, we have been manipulated through the darkness of the earth. You understand? The sin. Hold on, say here. Read. But, but, brother, do you understand that? My brother, you understand that? You get that? Read. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. But guess what? Today is the day that you have an opportunity to say, I'm not going to do that no more. It may be hard. You understand? Cause some, cause you know, cause you know what it is. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm married. So you got a divorce. You got to get the papers. That's and that's not marriage. Why? Why not? Let me submit. Listen good. Come back. Don't be scared. 
You got Pikachu on your shirt. You mean you're supposed to be ready. Listen good. Pokemon and all of that. Come on, brother. I want you to listen to this good. He got the FCU. We got to change our way of I know. I know. We got to change our whole persona. Go ahead. Read. A fish of the third and verse 22. Why? Hold on. Listen good. I'm going to show you what a marriage is according to the Bible. Read this. Wives, wives, submit yourself unto your own husbands. What does that mean? Biblically, read that again. Ephesians 5, verse 22. Wives, wives, submit. Submit meaning listen. Yourself. Submit yourself to who? Unto your own husbands. Submit to your husband. Is a husband a man or is a woman? Okay, in your relationship, in your relationship, are you the wife? What are you? That don't make no sense. Husband is a masculine term. You're not masculine. You may dress masculine, but you're not masculine. You know what I'm saying? I know you probably had a fight with a couple of brothers, but that don't mean that you're supposed to roll like that. The woman is supposed to be in the similar to or comparable to a flower. You understand? Something delicate, right? Men are supposed to be as rocks. That's what Christ said. We are the rock. You understand? Christ is the rock and we follow that rock. You're supposed to be in the similitude of the lily. Something yeah. soft and delicate. You understand? Women ain't supposed to be like that. You understand? They know it's no way women's supposed to be like that. No way. That's how we know it's out of order, sis. You understand? So what is our purpose in life? Did your, let me ask you this, did your parents, when, when you came, when did you come out and tell you, how old are you, my sister? 25. You're 25. Okay, when you was a kid, when did you, in your mind, establish and say, you know what, I like women? I was 17 when I finished high school. When you finished high school. So, in, I'm talking about in your high school years, curiosity was good. Okay. Did you have gym? Did you have gym class? Yeah. Did you have to get dressed around them? Yeah. You know what I mean? You know how? Because when I was in gym class, brothers had gym shorts and they got dressed amongst us. Now, in my mind, I never got, I never got enticed to say, "Oh my God, look at his back." That was never me. I just got, I just put my clothes on and I was to myself. Some women, when they see um, certain women dressed. Uh, and, and uncovering their nakedness, they get aroused by it. One. Like brothers here, if we see a woman walk down the street, yeah. she, we're like, oh man, she's pretty. But we ain't gonna go crazy. Some women yeah. in their mind, the website, yeah. it, 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 it played a point, it played the scene. So the seed has been planted to you. That goes, while, what you watch on, watch on TV too. They got lesbian movies now. They got, they got scenes, they got movie scenes with lesbianism in it. I was watching a movie, listen good. Yes, yesterday I was watching a movie with piranhas. There's a, a movie about piranhas killing people in the water. You know what I'm talking about? Piranhas. And before the piranhas started killing people, there was a lesbian scene in the movie. I was like, yo, why would they put that in there? Because this white man, listen good. The Bible says the white man is the devil on earth. And he has poisoned our minds into accepting it. Because that's his spirit. Where, where do we learn that homo stuff from? White people. That's exactly who we learn that from. Who put it on TV? Who's doing that? White people. Give me that 331. I know, give it back to you. Three, hold on, bud, come back. Come here. 331. Three. Proverbs. I just, I got it. Do y'all agree, sisters? That white people are the authors of pushing homosexuality? Khan, you said Khan, meaning agree. You speak Hebrew? What's God's name? I want to hear. What's Ken? All right, we're going to deal with you later. Ken. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor. What does that mean? It says, Envy thou not the oppressor. What does that mean? Meaning, do not follow the white man's way because he's the oppressor today. The Bible says don't follow our oppressors. You understand? We're not supposed yeah, to follow them. Question about that. Right. Yes, sir. Right, Hold on. Hoshea? That's not your name, is it? Is that your Hoshi. real name? That's your real name? Hoshi? Oh, see Okay. That's a biblical name. This is what happened. They say, we say not to follow our oppressors, right? But our oppressors got space to do it, right? Yeah. Now, when it rains, when it rains down on Tuesday and Saturday, 
So we do not have our own spaces. How do we get to the monopoly? Hold on, hold on, real quick. I can't believe what I just heard. I can't believe it. We're talking about how to overcome our people. Yeah, You're talking people. about diamonds. Diamonds on Jupiter and Saturn. Yeah. We have nothing to grow. Right. When we envy the envying the oppressor. No it's not heavy. I'm talking about I'm talking about just like how some people have cars to get from point A to point B. Right? Yeah. These oppressors have space to get point from point A to point Z. Now we need to focus on that as well in order to get to where we're trying to get to. No, we don't. We don't have to. No, we don't. No, we don't. Let me let me tell you. Let me tell you this, bro. Let me drop down. A lot of a lot of these brothers gonna say some wild stuff. That ha that makes no sense. That's wild stuff. We don't got time for that. That's a that's a demon. Now listen to it. Now sister, you understand that? You understand that, brother? Sister, over there, you two sisters with the name. You agree with what we were just teaching just now? You agree with us? So what do you agree about it? So, Jose, Jose, right? No, no. You, as a sister, you gotta put on feminine attire. <laughs> I'm telling you straight up, because this country is gonna be destroyed very soon. To get into God's heaven? Because God's heaven is on the earth. Listen, I'm telling you. It ain't because of us. We want you to, we want you to change because God wants you to change. Okay. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.